In my country, Christians are persecuted for their faith. My friend David Alexandra is now in prison since three and one half years. His three daughters are growing up without their father. Например, очень было это тяжело, потому что я с детства, я, можно сказать, папина дочка. То есть для меня папа просто не очень было тяжело. I was also imprisoned for teaching about Christ. My name is Salavat. I am a pastor in northern Uzbekistan. I had been convicted and sentenced to eight years in prison. After I served only four months, they dropped the charges and released me. I was praising God and went home to my wife and two daughters. When I got there, my little girl was so excited to see me. Mm. The police had been watching our house, and no one had been able to help my family. The food was gone, and for the last week they had nothing but water. Our baby couldn't even nurse, because my wife had no milk to give her. In prison, I had endured many things, but nothing prepared me for seeing my family like this. My wife asked me, what will we do? And I said, we will pray, and our God will provide. The next morning, I went to work in the garden. Nothing was growing, but I didn't know what else to do. When my daughter came out to help me, she asked, if we work in the garden, will your God give us bread? I told her to wait, to trust in God. So we just kept working. We kept praying. A few hours later, two men suddenly appeared at our house. They asked if my name was Salavat. I said yes, and asked them what their names were. They said it wasn't important. And when I reached out to shake their hands, one of them placed an envelope in mine. I looked and saw that it was full of money. When I looked up, the men were gone. I don't know who they were or where they came from, but my daughter and I rejoiced. God had provided. As I share this story, I am now again being watched by the police and could be arrested at any time. I am not afraid of going back to prison, but I pray, please God, don't let my family go hungry. We can no longer meet in our church building so we worship in the desert. Only a few brothers are able to gather at a time. We cannot even bring our Bibles. In Uzbekistan, some are afraid. Others believe the persecution is a test of our faith. David's family says this testing is hard, but it has made them stronger. Меня зовут Саша, мне 14 лет, и а, мой отец, он уже три с половиной года сидит в тюрьме, то что он пастор церкви. У меня есть большая просьба для вас, просто молиться за него, за его освобождение, просто за его здоровье, чтобы, чтобы в душе он был спокоен просто и держался за Бога.